I also think in order for you to, to conquer these demons, uh, which as a result make us better actors and also understand ourselves and understand people around us, there has to be a latitude for the audience to understand that we, we got to let artists work. We had, before we got on camera, I, I told you we were. Uh, I was watching Joe Rogan's episode, and Robert Downey Jr. was on this the day and a half ago. Um, he he actually recorded a week ago, but I think um, they held off because Robert Downey was doing like um, the, the promoting a movie or whatever, and I guess mm-hmm. it was hush hush. Um, and he played um, the the one. It was the one thing, and we're all in a room laughing because we all joked like like a politician does like blackface at a Halloween party in 1979. And it's still an unforgivable sin because, like you said, human beings take that person and say, from 40 years ago, and say, oh, that's who you are now, which we all, we all agree is unfair and disingenuous, okay, because it could be a different person. But flying under the radar, doing a movie in Tropical Thunder, Robert Downey fucking does blackface. And mm. nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> cares. Nobody cares. And I wonder... If it's because he was so in depth and into the role, he's playing like this psychological guy of a guy who wants to be black, identifies with being black, um, that just made him just more understanding. Or, or I hate to use the word forgivable because I don't think artists should fucking apologize for for for, for, for shit. You're you're playing a role. You you know you want to you, you got a problem? Take it out on the on the on the, on the writer. <laughs> you know we're, we're actors. And I think the point I was trying to make is Robert Jr. Downey Jr. And the reason why he didn't get a lot of flack was it because because he's sending a message saying you gotta let artists work. And then sometimes it's interesting and entertaining, sometimes it's a turn off, but that's who we are as human beings and you have to understand those people too. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And mm. um, I think there's also a certain degree where, like, the, yes, the audience has to let the actor work, but at the end of the day, the artist can't be afraid to do the work because of what the audience might think. Right. And but what Sanford Meisner said about polite. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think that may be Fuck what polite. what he he was also saying. Uh, Robert Downey was also saying at at that moment as well. You know, with that, you just got to let the actors work because we're going to work no matter what. Mm. So, yeah, uh, you got to check it out. It's an hour. It's only an hour and twelve minutes. Yeah. His absolutely. episodes usually three, but uh, usually I, I started the podcast just because I was inspired by him watching yeah. him. So, um, but yeah, because yeah. and because that's uh, you know one of the artist's jobs is to, is to be able to take these stories and tell them in a way that uh, is interpreted by the audience so that they get a message, whatever that message may be. Um, even if it's off from what the message might be intended to be, it's, it's we're storytellers and stories are meant to teach lessons and, the, and those lessons take us into those next years and generations so that hopefully we become better people. And in that, you, like what, what you said that, you know, he maybe he didn't get so much flack, which I'm sure he did. There was probably some, some things well, out there. Well, he said like, 90... Mm-hmm. Here's no. the funny thing. He said 90% of the black people that he was friends with and knew didn't have a problem with him. Joe was like, what about the other 10? He's was like, well, well, well yeah. that's... Uh... <laughs> right, but that's a, and that's the thing. And that's the great thing about yeah. uh, humanity in itself is like, we're so different. We're, it, it, there might be a problem if we all did agree on one thing, you know, um, or one, I don't know, like... What I guess what what I'm saying is that, that there's all there are people out there that, that might have a problem with it, but that's good. We need the that other perspective mm-hmm. so that we can keep the dialogue going and keep working towards uh, those conversations and the, those yeah. answers that maybe m- might not get answered that to be or not to be. We might not ever answer the death question, but we continue to ask it and have the conversation. I believe there's a documentary out there called The Day That Laughter Died. It's yeah. basically about com- comedians that were just killing it and selling out shows. And then somewhere in the early 90s to the mid 90s, the use of language and how they convey convey or whatever. Um, people go to the comedy show and they find it funny. They do it in real life. It's not funny. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you ever saw Eddie Murphy Delirious or Eddie Murphy Raw, the word faggots. You know, faggots ain't allowed to look at my ass while I'm on stage, you know? That's why I keep moving around. I don't know where the faggot section is. You know, back then that was funny. Mm-hmm. But today, that ain't going to be funny. Sure. Um, Andrew Dice Clay, don't ever get me started. Um, oh, yeah. They like they look at this guy and like like some of the routines he does. Let's say you're fucking. 
Let's say you fucking, I don't know, you fucking dog style, right? <laughs> Does, would the kid pop out backwards? <laughs> you know? I saw this chick walking down the street with a hump on her back. He, he was fucking dog style. So, but um, it's one of those things where Andrew Dice Clay is playing a character that's so over the top, mm -hmm. that's so um, uh, uh, satirically funny, and the, the use of ridic ridicule. The people are like, oh my God, Andrew Dice Clay, he's a dirtbag. I'm like... That's not him. <laughs> That's not him. He's doing a character. The same way Will Ferrell did George Bush, mm -hmm. like on HBO. Yeah. He's not George Bush. <laughs> so, and that was just an example. Of, and comedy is a very extreme yeah, like example as far as... Yeah, version as of what Saturday as, Night Live kind of does. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's an, this extreme example of how you got to let, let artists work. And I, I guess the reason why I still even tune in at SNL at all is because every now and then, they let artists work. And because it's SNL, people are at least give it you know indulge in it and, and, and this and that and and I gotta see it again it's a documentary, documentary called The Day Laughter Died mm -hmm. like Chris Rock can get away with saying a lot of things you, you, we, we, nobody white sure. or black can't say Kevin Hart ends up having to Glad apologize yeah. for what he said 10 fucking years ago to the yep. Academy Awards, you know, you gotta, they, they, you gotta let artists work. You gotta let artists make mistakes. You gotta make artists say, okay, that wrote people the wrong way. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go another route. You can't sit there and hold this fucking person or these pe uh, uh, individuals uh, accountable for the rest of their lives for something that. They're, we're experimenting. Well, sure, because I I understand your perspective. Because yes, like at the at the time, it was it was a different time, and I think that's some of the arguments that get made is that it was a different time. Yeah. So that's why you know it was okay to say that. And yes, the overarching umbrella is no, it was not okay mm -hmm. at all. Right. But you said it, and it was a it was an accepted thing that yep. people overlooked. And so I I do think I I personally do think there is a degree where they should be held accountable for things they said, but there's also the other perspective of, of what uh, I kind of hear you saying, where that was also a different time, and we have to under there's a certain understanding of that as well. It dependent as well depending on can they have the, how far have they moved forward since mm -hmm. then? Because it's like I'm not the same person. Well, we've yeah. talked about it a couple times. I'm not the same person that I am ten years ago because I've learned what does and does not work for me, what I do and, and, and did not like about myself, so that <clears throat> getting to the person I am today, I'm not perfect by any means, there's still a lot that I, I'm working on within myself, but I've also worked through a lot of things, and, mm. um, and with that, I've, had, I, I've only gotten to where I am by holding myself accountable for the things I've done in the past. And the yeah. uh, thing with the the platform uh, of of these people we're talking about that are being held accountable for on a nation like a worldwide stage mm -hmm. is that they are known by a lot more people and the and the access of information is bringing those things to light so they are being held accountable for it. and in a way mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting if you think about it um as an artist, you say just let the artist work. Well, they ha are forced to work in a public forum uh, of sorts where it's no longer work within a project. It's work in progress right? At, in, in real life. Mm -hmm. So they, the, the work should be for somebody on that stage, on that platform to do what they do where they, they do, should apologize or or something to show hey maybe uh to, well to show that this is the direction that we are going as right. human beings we are now understanding that 10 years ago these things did not work just like 20 years ago 30 years ago you know with with right. uh women's suffrage slavery all those things uh, you know you, i just watched harriet uh for uh the other night i did and, I, I movie hopped i saw yeah that. and you know and, and it's 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 such a beautiful shot movie uh, and it is so good. But then you, you, you realize at the end of it and maybe throughout like, wow, this is something that is still very near to our, our history. Right. This did not happen yeah. very, very long ago, but yet look at all the strides we've, we've come through. All right, here, and here. that's just one small.